guys, I am so impressed with this product that I'm gonna put this at the start of the video. You guys need to check this out. The finish on the ceilings, something that would usually take me at least a full day, if not a day and a half to complete, I was able to do in probably about an hour. Unbelievable finish, have a look at that. 100% flawless, super fast, very little overspray. Um, I do have drop sheets everywhere in this property, so for me, no problem whatsoever, but have a look at that. It's still drying up, perfect flawless finish. Make sure you put your drop sheets all down. You do still get overspray, but unbelievable. You guys need to see this video. What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. So today we're gonna to be testing out the Wagner Control Pro 350M. I've finally gone out and bought it. So I haven't used an airless sprayer before. I'm really interested to see just how easy they are to use, especially coming from Wagner, they're kind of more geared to a DIY kind of person. So I'm hoping they're gonna be nice and simple to use and leave a nice professional finish. So we're gonna test it out today. This one here is the 350M um, Control Pro Series. So I think the price range here in Australia, I think I paid $1,150. So definitely not the cheapest. They do have smaller um, models of this one here. They've got the 250 and also the 150. The reason why I didn't go for those ones, number one, um, pretty much main reason was the length of the hose and also I wanted the bigger unit. So if this is gonna work, I wanna be using it on a regular basis. So I thought I'd just go for the bigger unit, um, but I do wanna also test out the smaller 150 range. Anyway guys, let's open it up, see how to put it together and we'll test it out and spray some ceilings. Let's do this. So we'll open it up, see what's inside. Hopefully it's nice and simple to put together and I don't have to read the instruction manual. Don't really like reading that much, so we'll see if we can avoid it today. Hopefully most of it is already assembled. Nothing in here. All right, so we've got the main unit, telescopic. This one here is on the trolley. You've got the option to also get it on a skid. So that's the main unit, that's our 15 meter hose. And the reason why I wanted the 15 meter hose is I wanted to kind of leave this unit in the middle of the house and extend the hose so I don't have to move the unit as much around as well. I might be able to use it for exterior projects um, and be able to climb up ladders and just extend that hose out. So it looks like that's all that comes in here. Get rid of this packaging. All right, so we'll remove the plastic that's on here. We've got the power. I'll get this one here ready. We'll see what little goodies come inside. All right, so we'll open up all of this stuff here, see what's actually inside. We've got our filters here. It looks like there's only one filter. There might be one still inside. As far as I know, it comes with two tips. So we've got the 311 and the 517. 517 is for high viscosity, meaning your uh, ceiling paint, your wall paint. Um, and then we've got the 311 tip, which is designed for your small, smaller works with low viscosity. So um, your enamel paints, door trim, um, anything like that, um, that's what we're gonna use the 311 for, and they come with two different filters. So the 311 uses the red filter, which is in the bag here, and the 517 comes with a white filter, which I think might be still in the little, um, little rod section here that attaches to the gun. Speaking of our gun, so like I said guys, I've never used an airless sprayer before. I've used um, Wagner's other products, um, and that's from the Flexio range. So I've used them before for spraying little projects and also the uh, cornices or coving around the houses, make my life a little bit easier, um, but it'll be interesting to see how well an airless uh, sprayer works, especially with the overspray. That's kind of the things that I'm really kind of leaning towards this. It claims that it's got 55% less overspray. Um, the more, uh, the less overspray, obviously the better. Less masking up you have to do and the more control you're gonna have. So let's put this all together and we'll see just how well this actually works. So I'll just make sure that the white filter is in, in here, which I'm hoping it is. So you need two adjustable wrenches or in my case, I'm just gonna use the Maltes um, to get a grip on this one here and the filter is supposed to be inside somewhere. So if we undo this section here, unscrew it, 
and there we have it guys so there's our white filter right there that's what I was looking for so that little section here simply pops out I think there's a seal in there so that little section right there that's the filter um, and we can replace that with the uh, low viscosity which is the red filter in case you needed to use the other one so in my case we're just going to be spraying the walls with it today so I'm going to leave this one here back in make sure it's all nice and tight and we'll attach this to the gun so to attach it to the gun we just slide it back through and then thread that on the threads don't go all the way through which is interesting I'll tighten that one there up and I'll show you guys what I mean So if you have a look there, I threaded the whole lot on, but you can still see there's still a couple more threads, which is surprising that they've got a little bit longer section here. You would have thought that would have gone all the way through, um, but hopefully I have installed it correctly and it's just a little bit of extra threads, but it's weird that it's got a little design like that. So we've got our little suction tube here, which is already attached. They've got clamps on both the return nozzle and the main suction. Um, so just make sure your clamps are on. In my case, it's already installed, which is even better. The less work for me, the better it is. So we've got our tips, which I'm gonna install later on. I'll pack away the 311. And what I like about this, it's got a little cover that clip on to the top here. So the purpose for this cover, I'm not sure how the cover clips on yet, but it's a little storage compartment. So that's an awesome little idea. I can hide all my tips in there. If this decides to go on, I'll leave it down. So that's one, I'll put it on the wrong way. So this one goes on here, like that. And now we've got a little storage compartment so I can throw my tips in there and not have to look for them. So I'll pack this one here up, we'll open up. I might actually leave the filter in there as well and possibly my reading material in case I need to learn something. Alright guys, so now it's time to install our hose, take off the little cap on the end here and simply thread this side here on. So far it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, tighten this one here up with your wrench. And then we'll attach the other side to the gun. So once again, remove that cap. And this one here attaches to the bottom of the filter. So right down the bottom here, simply thread that on once again. And then we'll just tighten this one here on with the wrench. And we should be ready to start getting some paint through it now. So I'll remove this tip. Leave this on the side for a second. There's a good chance I'm making mistakes here, but it looks like we're gonna to learn together and you guys won't have to go through the same headache that I'm going through. All right, so I've got the unit plugged into the power. I've moved it into the middle of the house so that hopefully the 15 meter hose can reach most of this house. I'll just show you quickly the controls. We've got here our pressure regulator or our dial. So zero is basically off and then we can increase the pressure. The pressure goes up to 1600 PSI on this unit, um, which compared to other units isn't very high, but apparently this one, he's got some sort of technology that 1600 is gonna spray the perfect amount, um, but we'll find out in a second. There's a little red button here on the side that we need to press that a couple times to release the ball valve inside before we actually get started. Um, on the side here, we've got a little switch down the bottom is prime to the side is spray so this one here will rotate all the way around so i'm assuming top and bottom um, is prime and left and right is spray regardless of which direction it must just have a little um, selector switch inside or a, um, a little little switch inside that controls it um, so i think that's pretty much it at the moment all we're going to do now is use a bucket spray out make sure we pressurize our hose which i'm going to do in a second and interestingly what i'm spraying today is the ceiling paint however this one here is a paint and prime all in one 
Um, awesome little product, so I don't have to spray primer on the individual patched areas. Um, so you can see there, paint and prime. Um, and this one here is very thick. So whether or not I'm gonna have to thin it down, we're gonna learn and find out. Hopefully I don't have to thin products down. Um, really a bit of a headache, but anyway. So let's get started, we'll set this unit up and get ready to spray. Now like I said, the lighting in here is pretty crap. Um, it's gloomy outside, it's raining. Um, inside a lot of the areas have been taped off and the lights have been masked up and everything like that. So hopefully you guys are still gonna be able to see fairly well. Obviously we've got a little light here from the fan and hopefully that's gonna be sufficient, but we'll find out in a second, guys. Um, let's get straight into it. All right, so we'll open up this paint. and we'll drop our little suction hose or whatever it's called and the return which is also connected and we'll just drop that straight into the paint so now we've got that in the paint units on like I said this is my first time doing it so I'm learning as I kind of show you guys how we're doing this with regards to the gun to be honest, I haven't really used many spray guns, so I don't really know whether or not this is a really good quality or not. Um, it's almost completely all steel, except for the back section is plastic. Feels pretty comfortable, but we'll find out in a second. Alrighty. So, we're going to have to keep our tip off um, and the guard off when we first do this. So, we'll put it on prime. I might actually bring the camera in a little bit closer so that you guys can see. So, at the moment, the hoses are all clear. We've got it on zero, so that means the unit is, should be still off. This is switched on prime. I'll press that little red button on the back that we said we're supposed to press a couple times. Uh, that should do it. Alrighty, now let's turn this one here on. We'll put it on number two, and we should hopefully see um, start sucking paint and then come back out the return. little bit noisy at first um, so we've got that completely all the way through the returns pumping all the paint back in um, so now we should be able to get our gun and also pressurize the hose so like I said this is a long hose 15 meters um, so it's going to take a fair bit of paint to come all the way through the line and then we're going to just spit whatever comes out of it without the tip on straight into the um, bucket here so I'll keep it on prime at the moment I think well actually it's pretty much prime so like I said I don't like to do the reading I don't know where the book is you guys got to see this book. Yeah, I don't think so. That, plus, it's also got a little pop-out section. Have a look at this. Yeah, we'll put this on the side. All right, so what we're going to do now, we'll put this on spray mode. So flick it to the side, because the line should be all primed, or this main line anyway, into the pump. Put it on number two, and then we'll spray the trigger straight into the bucket. you can see the paint has actually started to come out um, and you can hear the units actually shut off so it's only going to kick in when it needs to build up pressure again in the line so what I'm going to do now is install the tip and the guard so easy so this little tip here and the guard is what we're going to install next I'll just make sure I've got this locked so I don't press the trigger by accident so now we can take our gun our guard and our tip in this case we're using the 517 tip um, so this one you just need to make sure it's uh, pointing forward. It's got a little arrow on the back as well, so you can't really get it wrong. Drop that into place, and then we'll screw this one here on. 
So now we've got our tip installed. We can either turn this vertical or horizontal depending on what pattern you want it to spray. Let's test it out and see how well it works. So I'm just gonna quickly test it out on the wall first. Make sure I'm happy with everything before I actually start painting the ceilings. Make sure that guard's off. That is really nice. I don't know if you guys can see, but that finish is unbelievable. Um, I just went two passes side by side. Can't see any lines. You can even see my glare in, in the uh, paint. So really, really nice finish. Let's test it out. We'll go do some ceilings. Um, and up the upside here is all these ceilings for whatever reason are being paint, painted in like a gray kind of color um, in semi-gloss. So we're gonna go back to a flat, white, Nice, crisp and clean. Um, hopefully there's enough lighting in the other rooms, but let's go and find out. I might actually switch this over to my GoPro. All right, let's test it out, guys. We've got this first room here. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad. If it is, I'm gonna be using my GoPro footage, but we'll find out one way or another. The only downfall is with this 58 liter hose, it's always forever tangling up, but let's see how fast we can get this done. Tangle once more. Have a look at the finish on this and the full control. Now I've got all the cornices or coving done in this room here. Perfect finish and have a look at the control. Over on top of the uh, window sill here, I just basically lift up the fan just a little bit higher and I've got perfect. Have a look at the overspray, almost zero. That's basically where the end, edge of the fan was and you can see just how fine that is. It's really feathered out, perfect little finish absolutely minimal overspray. I've used some sprays in the past and you get mist everywhere. This one here, honestly, nothing. Have a look at the room. There's no mist whatsoever. To just cut in all of this section here, that would have taken me at least 20 minutes. Um, and now I just need to paint the ceiling, which hopefully should take me about another three, four minutes. Um, and guys, on average, to paint and roll and cut in and everything on a ceiling for each room, Probably looking at about an hour, hour and a bit per room. If I can knock it over in about five minutes, unbelievable. And the coverage, I honestly think one coat is sufficient. Have a look at the finish on that.
have a look at these ceilings, guys. Unbelievable. It's still a little bit glossy simply because it's still wet. Um, but if you have a look all the way through, that is flawless. Perfect all the way down. Really nice feathered edge on the fan. So that means that we can just overlap that without having any lap marks. But unbelievable, guys. What an awesome finish all throughout the house. Perfect. I couldn't have asked for any better, to be 100% honest. So there you have it, guys. That's the Wagner 350M airless sprayer. Unbelievable. I'm exceptionally happy with the way this one here turned out. I was able to finish a job that would usually take me um, a day and a half to roll in all these ceilings and cut them in. A complete house. I finished it in an hour and a half. That is unbelievable. Super fast. It does use a bit more paint than what I'd usually use cutting or rolling in. That's expected with spraying, but at the same time, the coverage is unbelievable. I could get away with one coat on the ceilings, no problem, 100% flawless. I'll show you guys, well, you guys have already seen it um, previously, but unbelievable results. It took me an hour and a half to finish the whole house. So for me, $1,150 is an absolute bargain for what I got in return. I've just basically gained another whole day, plus I've got the unit for other jobs. So. I'm interested to see what else this thing can handle. Use it outdoors, use it indoors, um, little spraying projects. Speaking of which, I'm interested in the 150 range. So that's, this one here costs $1,150. It's the bigger unit, 350. They've got the 150 range as well, which is a small canister. Rather than having the suction hose dropping into a um, tin of paint, we can actually pull the uh, paint on top of a little canister or a hopper that sits on top of the unit. And you can put in, I think, four liters or five liters. So a smaller hose, seven and a half meter hose, because if you can imagine smalling a small project, you're not gonna buy a big um, tin of paint, you're gonna have a small tin of paint, that means we don't have to run it through the 15 meters of hose before it actually comes out the nozzle. So I'm tempted to go out there and buy the 150 range. If you guys wanna see that, put it in the comment section below. Um, I wanna use it for mainly smaller projects and doors, <clears throat> but all in all, awesome, awesome finish. I'm so happy. I honestly can't wrap my head around how quickly um, and how much time I've lost on previous projects. So, um, guys, this is the Wagner 350. If you've got any suggestions or anything else that you guys want to see, put them in the comment section below. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video as much as I've enjoyed spraying this house. Too easy, guys. I took the risk, I bought the Wagner unit, and I'm extremely happy with it. So hopefully you guys will get out there and also give it a go. Um, you don't have to buy the bigger range. Hopefully the smaller range will pump out just as much power and um, performance as this one here does. Um, but I think that's it for today, guys. Wear your mask, wear your respirator, wear your glasses. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching, Bill's out too.